I'm Tim. And we are late to the party, and it feels like it's been forever since we've done a Schmodown. It has, but it's only been since Friday. Yeah, I mean, this it seems how, like forever like, ago, This though. is how much the Schmodown has impacted our life. We just wait until the next Schmodown. It's like, when <laughs> is this going to happen? Well, I think you pay closer. I think you, you anticipate more when it's like such a big match. And so this is clearly a big match we have coming up tonight. So. Especially because we've got the Schmoes. You know, we've got Finally, yeah. Dark Harloff himself and Baby Carrots versus Matt Nost and... John Roca, the, the champ. Yeah. yeah, this is so. their their rematch essentially because the last time they did a match was the championship and they lost the title against top ten. So we'll see how this is. I really hope that the Schmoes win, though. I know. I love them. I'm definitely pulling for Holoff and Ellis. I mean, those are my boys. Even though I do enjoy. Top 10, but I mean you've got more of a affinity for top 10. I, I love the top 10 crew I love Roca and I love Nose, uh, especially to love Nose. I think he's a he's a kind of an underutilized talent I'd love to see more. Uh, I'd love to see more of him out there overall Absolutely. But uh, I think the Schmo I'm gonna root for the Schmoes just because the my Schmoes. loyalty lies a little deeper with <laughs> Harloff and Ellis However, I think that top 10 definitely has it in him to to win this. I think it's still it's up in the air as who can win um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna edge the schmoes a little bit there. I'm also leaning slightly more towards the schmoes. I love both teams. Um, of course, the outlaw because of his total comeback um, that he's had. He had this total winning streak uh, lately. And um, but I, I totally the, the schmoes are who I would like to to win. He um, wants all the more. belts. Yeah. <laughs> he wants all the, belts. all the belts. But I love Roca's uh, energy. I think he brings mm -hmm. a lot of the energy to the match. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing them combat against each other. Yeah, so. I can't wait to see the banter that they have between each other. So. Yeah. The shit talking between the two teams is <laughs> going to be brutal. It's gonna be epic. And I can only assume, uh, since we don't have Harloff hosting, that it's going to be my okay. second dynamic duo. So we <laughs> shall see. Can you a nap song? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall see now as we watch <laughs> the Schmoes versus Top, top ten. 10. Do it, do it, Lars. Do it, do it. Oh, it was, I said that quote today. That's so funny. <laughs> At work, I was like, do it, do it, Lars. I'm excited for their movement. <laughs> <laughs> the face. That was so good. Oh, yeah, so oh, well, good. Well, it's the best. That was awesome. Yo, the best. Yo, the best. The best. By Mr. Kenny Napsa. Kenny Napsa. Here today. <laughs> well, a few people can we call him that, apparently. A match I have been personally looking forward to for a long time. It is a collision of two former championship teams meeting up now for a possible another run at another title. John, there's so much at stake, and there's also so much history. These are, these are four of the bigger personalities in the schmo now. There's a lot of writing on this and a lot of history. Now, I'm not saying both of these teams are losers. I'm just saying they are well-versed in the art of losing. <laughs> That's true. Both of them coming off of losses right now, both former champions, but one of them is going to merge with a clear path to the title again. Yeah, and this is the first time the Schmoes ha have uh, played. They're returning. They had a devastating KO loss to Top Ten back in October. We all mm -hmm. remember that. Uh, they, uh, they lost the titles. In that match, they, they got cocky. They chose the <laughs> I love this movie thing. release dates on the spin. But oh, no, look they at that tear before that. These oh, guys those know were the how days. Right now. <laughs> Seems like so long ago. They, they Simpler times. They defeated the when Makuga the could actually still carry it out. Team Bob on the way there. Uh, Christian, I forgot he's still about Team Bob. He's also in the Commission <laughs> League. Uh, he, he's been the only one active of this. Uh, Mark Ellis, you know, he kind of faded away. He had a big loss. Uh, back in the schmo down and the singles and he's kind of he lost to Dan Merle and he's kind of oh yeah <laughs> maybe on the side of the jump. yeah it has been interesting to see that the, they've been very very quiet other than that one Makuga match they've yeah. been very quiet who has not been quiet is Team Top Ten of course Losing imagine that titles of course to the Patriots what did we see we <laughs> seen John Roca go on to achieve sad. the next part of his dream he wants to hold all the titles at one point or another. He achieved it. He what? beat Dangerous Dan Merle. He is now the reigning movie He drinks movie those uh, Mios. Champion. And as far as in singles, now, not that, so much of a clear He talked about it one time on Mailbag. So he ran into a buzzsaw yeah, in Drew McQueen. No shame in that loss oh, there. Looking forward but they've to his got match. their eyes firmly yeah. set yeah. on that Team Patriots right now. Are they looking past 
team schmoes right now, and could that get them into trouble? You know, and, and top ten, they, they had a great run in the 2015 tournament, John. They, they were underdogs, and they kind of went to, fam uh, to, 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 to favorites in that match, in that tournament, I should say. Uh, they have a lot of history. Of course, they were the champs. They know how to win. Both these teams know how to win. It's, it's definitely a collision. And as we alluded to a little bit earlier, what is at stake in this match cannot be overemphasized. They, the winner of this match, is guaranteed to have a tag title match. Number at some one point contenders. In the future. Nice. What happens to the losers? It's a little bit of a more rocky road to try to get back to those titles. Absolutely, John. I think it's enough of us setting it up. Let's hear from the competitors right themselves. Man, it is good to be I back like that. Oh, on the shirt. other side of things. But let's be honest, I've been back. You've seen me. I competed against Makuga not too long ago, and I said I've been on my revenge tour. Well, my revenge tour started with Mr. Josh Makuga, then it went into Mr. Andy Signore, and that's going to happen soon. Oh. But top Andy Signore. <laughs> also a part, but I can't do this by myself. Harlow. I can't be top <laughs> ten by myself. So I had to ask... I had to really, really ask one of the most popular players to ever play the game. Your, your champion, Baby Carrots, Mark Ellis is back. Yeah, yeah, I was available this week, and I just had to wait to get top tens. Why are we here? Why are we here? We already took it. We destroyed it. Yeah, why are they favoring us? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. They're ranked higher than us. Oh God, the gee, that must help having the two people that created the league. Also, the rankings. Yeah, they beat us. They beat us pretty good. Yeah, I love the circus. It's great. You can't say the no excuses. I like that. Yeah, I like. I like that. Was the shirt. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I saw Riley. Where a uh, mail bag and I'm gonna lose today. Oh, that's a nice shirt. Because when we actually care about winning, we never lose. What I care about is the Patriots. However, I do that's like this like uh, losing the Magic and uh, Jordan shirt. That's yeah. spectacular. <laughs> Still sticks in our craw. It was bullshit, and we want the titles back. In order for us to get those nice belts back, we've got to go through top ten. Yeah. Rogue is having a nice run right now. He, it's adorable what the outlaw is doing. Oh, he's so happy! And you're a winner! <laughs> we're going to TKO these jerks, and we're going to take out the Patriots, and I say we TKO, TKO them as well. Absolutely. And just destroy anybody that stands before us. You know, my, my other shoulder is missing another belt. Win or lose, <laughs> this is our game. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we'll be around for a long time. So top ten, you guys have to it. fight. I like that shirt a lot. In order to stay It looks like it even has the symbol on it. It does. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that right Should now. Sure, can I have another? That's what you're at right now. <laughs> <laughs> all the belts, all the records. That's I what all I the said. That's what I want. <laughs> Matt and I are coming for those tag team titles. So many That's shirts. That's what we're focused on. So dispose no or just in our way. We have to clean out my wallet and get some shirts. We gotta knock out the Patriots once and for all. Bury them where they belong. Bury them where Smoville wants them. Bury them where Smodown wants them. Bury. Never forget. Four. Canos, we're flushing you down the toilet. Road to your run is over. That's Christian. I'm Marv. We are the Schmoes. We created this game and we're gonna dominate. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> 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 these these teams, as you said before, these are for the bigger personalities in this league. I cannot wait to see them get the, the table. Yeah, let's look at the tail of the tape. Now, the Schmoes, they're favored coming into this match, John. I'm not quite sure how that works. I mean, we had Team Top Ten. They are the most recent champions. They knocked out the Schmoes. John Broca is the reigning champion, yet by some perverted twist of nature, the Schmoes are favored in this match. It is what it it's is. It's like figuring out OPS in baseball or a quarterback ranking in the NFL. You just don't know these numbers. The Schmoes do have their strengths, though. <laughs> Star Wars, action adventure movies, and as the <laughs> I know.
song gets guys, stuck in my head all the time now. WWE Hall of Famer and the Schmoes knows versus Top 10. Oh yes, going down this week and Roca has been on a hot streak. You know, they may be a good team. No, they may be a great team. But as far as this game goes, the Schmoes, they better be pointy. Question is, can they beat them once? <laughs> but can they beat them twice? Now can you dig that? Cannot wait. Hey guys, I check me it. out. Reality of Wrestling every Sunday on YouTube. And let me know what you think. Booker's fun. I love Booker. I used to love him watch, or right, I used John, to love watching him. T there. We Especially have when he moved over to the WWE. The tail of tape. Both these teams have just been song. talking like a bunch of hot air balloons. <laughs> it's time to get this match started. Are you ready? I am ready. Woo! Here you go. Introducing first. Chance are here. <laughs> Sounds like cabs are here. Representing <laughs> the Four Horsemen. With a record of four wins, two defeats, and two knockouts, they are the former movie trivia showdown champions of the world. Champions. Mighty Magnus and the reigning undisputed showdown champion, the outlaw, John Rocca, T. Oh, hey. And here oh, they go. He the moment. It's a It is the reminder. And now look. Every team brings its weakness to the table. Don't let it For team top 10, confidence. Can't drop the floor. Hold on to that belt. Can't drop Not one of Roka's skills, but let's go on. <laughs> Their opponents. <laughs> representing Collider. Oh, and the nice. Schmoes. Just give, give him a little, <laughs> <know>. <laughs> little credit. <laughs> With a record of four wins, one defeat, and one knockout. Epic. It's an epic cover. They are the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown. That's pretty awesome, Movie though. Trivia Schmodown Champions of the World! The Commissioner! Christian Harlow! The Commish! Mark! Baby Carrots! Ass! T! Schmodown! And here they come! Ready to go! Now, Bring out we've your got bed. Christian Harlow up there! Wow. Coming out of the Jenner Rhodes! I think Mark Ellis once again got lost. Yeah! Good game, sir. These guys, remember, these guys have not seen team competition yeah. since dropping They're so the belts much fun. to this team, Team Top 10. It'll be interesting to see how they rebound today. Look at yeah, that. Super these easy. guys are ready. We had a fog machine. It, it looks, looks like we have a fire in the studio, but everyone's safe. <laughs> everyone's safe in a case of emergency. Exit out the back. All right, uh, let's John, uh, let's go over the rules of round one. Gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. Ready John, let's ask a question to the crowd real quick. Who's excited to see the Schmoes now back on top? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Just curious, just wondering. Stay true to form Mark Ellis, desperately <laughs> seeking affirmation. He feels like a Trump rally paying for his fans to be here. It's ridiculous. No, so have you seen Magnolia since the last one? Oh, night? Jesus. Please, please. 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 Chaos. It's not like a school of rock All right, here we go. Come. Round number one. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, oh, yeah. your first question comes to go. you from the category of action adventure. Oh, Ooh, not animation, huh? For one point. Kind of Who plays Captain Jack Otter? Uh, Russell, Russell Crowe. Crow. Crow. Me Crow, man. Absolutely love this one. It's a little very underrated as far as I always thought it like walk. It's a good movie, though. It is really good good score. Paul Bettany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good visuals. Yeah, good. Good. Lots of boats Two. and water. Yeah. <laughs> one and boats and hose. Russell Crowe. Correct yeah. for one point. Ooh, Ooh I like that little Russell spin Crow. that Correct. he did. Correct. Mark Ellis. Uh, Russell Crowe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we start four for four. It's two all. Uh, good start, guys. Second question category Action. is animated. There it is. What Japanese Flip animated cult classic? Akira. 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 Akira.
Akira. I may not watch anime, Akira. but I know Akira. For some reason, Akira. 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 I do like Akira. It's very serious. Rogan's already finished his thing. Taking it's a good. It's a good representation of Japanese classics. Four, yeah. Three, two, I'll own it. I'll do it. One pence down. John Roca, we'll start with you. Akira. Correct. Ah, uh, well, he's like, damn. Uh -oh. Spirited away. <laughs> oh, I mean, correct. I think that not quite. Not most. <laughs> Matt knows. Got it wrong. Goes to the show. Oh, goes to the show is a good guess, guess, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 Spirited away. Yeah. Yeah. Top 10 goes to the A special shout out to Emma Fight for that one. Oh, she gave the answer. Anime, man. Anime. All right, we move on to I the third it. question, gentlemen. Under the category of fantasy sci-fi, who played Agent Smith? Uh, Hugo I Weaving! Yeah. Yeah. Hugo Weaving. Yeah. Yeah. Hugo Weaving. Yeah. Mr. Anders. That's so funny, we just also played talked Ron about him. Oh, Ron and Lord of the Rings. Um, Sunday? <laughs> we saw multiples of him. Five, Deja vu. Four. Dead. Three. We just posted Two. a picture of a bunch of him to our Instagram. <laughs> the answer is Red Skull. <laughs> yeah, he, read, he wrote Hugo Weaving. Okay. Okay. Right, right. 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 Maybe may, may, may <laughs> don't play games with yeah. the judges. So. Yes, yeah. right. That first. Hugo Weaving. Correct. Good for Matt. Hugo Weaving. Yes, John Roca. Hugo Weaving. All right, yeah. we got another four for four up there. I like it. Pretty right. solid performance so far. Hugo Weaving. That's a How much than is the ransom leaving. demand in the million? movie? Give me back my son! Is that a million? I'm gonna guess... See, I would think a million. million. See, I One thought it was like a million and then he like doubles it. Two million. Yeah. Let's say two million. Five million? I don't know. That's a tricky question. He has all the money on the table. Two million dollars. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. All right, Matt Nost. Two million? Correct! Yes. Wow. Chris that was a guess. Two million. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Sean Roca! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. Million. Three million. Give me back my son! <laughs> Give me back my son! <laughs> Give me back my son! Pulls off one and mm -hmm. team top ten stays okay, in the lead with six Ron and Howard, five. Right? All right, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I think so. Question number yeah, five. I think so. Shut up. Comes. A lot of whispering over there going on. <laughs> Under the category up, of comedies. <laughs> Gabby Capster. To counteract their illegal activities, the characters in uh, what uh, role, uh, role, uh, role models, models find yeah. themselves... Oh, like the, yeah, you're like right. The ratio right. Is, that was my initial guess before even <laughs> finishing. Yeah. I just saw 2008 uh, in Illegal Activity. I've been hanging out with Middle Earth with Gleep Glop in the Blue Fruit. I like the ratio the from ass to butts. But has butt. So Team Top 10 only has two more... What was it that uh, Joe Lou Truglio says? Give me your hat. He used to say it. What was it? <laughs> Where he does this little thing. Good morrow. Good morrow. Good morrow. No. Good morrow. I probably says. Yeah, there was a whole thing. Now, Christian Harlock. Due date? No. Correct. Jane Rocha. Lynch is crazy oh, in that movie. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Marino is crazy too. Freaking Cuba Gooding Jr. Isn't that the gay cruise? Yeah, yeah. with Horatio yeah. Sands. Yeah. And Roger Moore. Oh. Matt Nost. Role models? Woo! Oh, Matt Nost. 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 Rated comedy about LARPing, John, I think I'm a wizard. <laughs> All right. He means for King of the Badass. I always had one. I was in the category. In addition to surviving the island and fending off wild animals, Pirates! Pirates! Yeah. Robinson's you family fend off the You boy! You boy! A weird pirate guy the way he talks. Uh huh. You I hate the little come kid. here, I hate boy! That little kid and his damn monkey. <laughs> Ernest, and you just, the whole movie just Fritz and Ernest. Oh, come on, man! Come on, man! And Francis. Fritz, yeah. Ernest, okay. and Francis. Is that what I mean? Surviving the island and fending off wild animals. What else must They're all the fighting over the girl, Roberta. Disney's Swiss family, Robinson. The plague. Although, <laughs> I have to say, I do miss the actual <laughs> Swiss family, Robinson's tree. Yeah. I mean, it's I still in Yeah, they still have it in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. We start with you. Yeah, Here we go. Ocean. I don't know. <laughs> ocean. I fend off the ocean. The ocean. Kind of. Formidable foe. Uh, what was uh, the... Uh, Pirates. Damn. Yeah. Correct. Well, yeah. Ellis hits the pirates. Pirates? Matt yeah. Nose. Pirates as well. Yeah. Matt Nose hits okay. pirates. Chris Bad weather. <laughs> Bad weather. Bad weather. Blue Lagoon yeah. was the ocean. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Team Top 10 and maintains poison. their two point lead. Spoilers. And Brooke Shields. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we head down to Mia Jovovich. Yeah. Number seven, she was in the Which gives you the category yeah. of horror thriller. Question <laughs> In what 2007 film? Was it Disturbia. Disturbia. Yeah. Of Hitchcock's I went to a, a screening yeah. of it. 
It's pretty fun. I liked it. Is that Ray Liotta in it, right? No. Uh, no. 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 David Morris, right? Yeah. yeah. No, uh, is that David Morris? I love my Jimmy Stewart. I think it's the negotiator. Oh, wow. I'll stick yeah, with I think it's the original. Morris, I think. Four, three, Jimmy two, Stewart's and my man. One pants down, gentlemen. Mark Ellis, we start and with you. And The Rock. The great Shia LaBeouf in Disturbia. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf. I was going to say yeah. the beef yeah. after. That knows True Grit. Tie me up with Disturbia, please. Whoa! Disturbia. Yeah. Tie game! Yeah. John Roca. Roca. No, I got nothing. Hey, it's Roca. a tie game. Roca. Just like that. All right. Five he only watches good movies. Disturbia. Uh, Back to The question. question is, <laughs> what acclaimed <laughs> director's daughter starred in M. Uh, Ron Howard. Ron Howard. Movies, Howard. The Village and yeah. Lady Will you accept Opie? The blind no, movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. 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 Is Bryce that what he yeah. thinks he to say? Bryce Dallas Howard. No, the, the, the director. No, her dad, Ron. Ronnie. Yeah, but this is what a claim director thought. Oh, yeah. Two. I guess, I guess Ron Howard. One. All right, Matt Nost. Ron Howard. Correct. Yeah. Christian Howard. Clint Howard. Ron Howard. <laughs> Correct. John Roca. Ron I didn't know when you were Correct. calling Mark a trap to me. Oh, yeah. Ron Howard. Yeah. Everybody's a fan of Happy Days. Eagle Bauer from the Monday. Ron Howard. Rock and Roll High School. Which, did you expect any less oh. coming out of round one? It is time. That, that's what we want. It was a brutal Four round. Piece. Nice. Uh, we'll spin first. Did we get a new wheel? This is new. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a nice wheel. It's been a while. Right, Mark Ellis will start with the spin. A good spin for Star him. Wars. Around it goes, and it will land on... No. Oh, oh, it's it's bad. Bad. Uh, I think we're going to elect to uh, spin again. <laughs> All right, they choose to Great spin again. Great choice. I like choice. Good choice. Around good it goes choice. again. Another good spin. All right, All right let's see. see. Not Disney not movies. Oh, oh, no. Mixed bag. Yeah. 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 It's destiny. I like the mixed bag. It's supposed to be. I mean, it could go anyway. It could be all easy. category of... Mixed bag. Right. Your first question. <laughs> Who plays struggling young actor? Oh, oh Jack Brad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the movie that guy that Arden I could. Stitt. <laughs> you could have gone with JD as well. That's Back true. Around. Correct for two points. It's a good soundtrack. Yeah. Off to a strong start, and the Schmoes for the first time in this match take the lead. Good soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. The second question. Very depressing. It is. It's really Who good. Who plays the blind monk in the film Young Frankenstein? Oh, Gene Hackman. Was it Gene Hackman? Yeah, it's Gene Hackman. That would be Gene Hackman. Correct for two nice. more points. Coach Very Monday. good. He lights his they finger on fire. To take this cigar. Yeah, he's like, look at the fire. He's like, all right, guys, you're third wow. in the mixed bag category. <laughs> What year was the sci-fi action film? Uh, 79. Oh, no, 84. No, eight, no, eight, sorry, Aliens. Really? So four, three, six. four, five, six. Was it 86? I think it's 86. Uh, 86. <laughs> Correct! Oh, yeah. It's 86! I don't know what you mean. I just a question you reaffirmed it into the microphone. Yes, Mark, you are right. I was waiting for the S. The M. Yes. All right, guys, your fourth question. Alan Ladd played a skilled and mysterious gunfighter in what classic western? I don't know. Sounds like a multiple choice to me, John. Yeah, All I right. think it's Shane. Is it A, Big Jake, B, Shane. The Shootist, John Wayne's Shane. last Shane. film, D, The yeah, Real Bravo? <laughs> I know they talked about that on the Shane. Warner Brothers a lot, didn't they? Correct yeah, for they one did. point! Nice. Just right. no, it's John Wayne's last film. I know, so far. I know like, uh, to your fifth question. movies was talking all about Who the shooters and all that. Mr. Phelps too. in Mission John Voight. John Voight, yep. Good evening, Mr. Phelps. You know, yeah. I need to watch Western. John Voight. Correct for well, another Shane, two That's points. kind of a spoiler right there. Shane, 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 I know, right? I know. Shane just came up because of Logan and all that. So impossible, yeah. huh, Chris? So that was at the forefront. Mark Ellis yeah. was hearing at the Chuckle Hut. <laughs> they definitely missed you, Mark. They definitely missed you. 19, that's a good round. Find Mark at the Chuckle House. All right, guys. Your final question in the mixed bag category. Throwing out some yucks. In what 2009 romantic comedy was Scarlett Johansson? Uh, that she's not that into you. Yep. Involved. Yep. He was married, right? Yeah. She's all and in the he, swimming like, basically pool. Cheated. Yeah. He was he married to. Uh, that into you? 
Correct for two nice. more points. Wow. Wasn't just one point off of me. Jennifer Goodwin is in it. Justin Long. Very excited. Drew Barrymore. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Yeah. Oddly. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's her name? Top Connelly. Jennifer Goodwin. Yeah. yeah. Jennifer Connelly's in it as well. Yeah. She's yeah. married to Bradley Cooper. Put some points on the board. She's almighty. All right. That's why the shows are out. I know. That's awesome. Holy crud. That was a solid spin. Solid spin coming down on to Disney Fizz. Oh. They're looking at you, they're not sure. Yeah. They probably won't take it though. It. The girls are excited at the potential. Come on, baby, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Nobody ever makes Disney movies. That's I mean, we need an answer. Poor Sandy. Will you take Sandy? Disney? Poor Sandy. We'll take they're Ooh. taking it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Disney. Go All right, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you six questions in the category of Disney. I, oh, fuck. Don't All you right. dare close your okay. eyes. A little bit of <laughs> Don't a you dare close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Question number choice. one. Who voiced Fear in 2015's uh, Inside uh, Out? Bill Hader. Yeah, Bill Hader. Yep. There you go. Didn't remember. Bill Hader. I couldn't remember the That's voice. That's correct. Yeah. Points. Points. Still alive. Except for Phyllis. I know Phyllis, yeah. Set. 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 Amy Poehler. In King. Mary Poppins, what animal that also spoke oh, it's a, it's like Harry. Harry. Peacock. End Peacock. of Mary Peacock 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 or Umbrella. Is yeah. it a parrot? I didn't say penguin. Goose? I think it's a parrot. I think it's a parrot. I was going to say parrot. penguin, but I could be thinking from the dance. Bird. We'll accept that. Well, it's just an answer, yes. Parrot, yes. They parrot. fly. Parrot. <laughs> Question three. In what animated feature would you find a villain named Sykes? S oh, is it a great monster title? No, that's uh, bad again. It's, uh, Sykes. Damn. Multiple choice. I don't remember. A. Home on the Range. Oh, Oliver, Oliver and Company. Yeah, Oliver Sykes. And company. Sykes is from See, Oliver. Yeah. I wanted to say freaking uh, All Dogs Go to Fox. Heaven, but that's not Disney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do I want that? Atlanta C. Incorrect. Oh. Chance for a steal from the Schmoes. I love Dodger. Uh, multiple choice. He's so cute. A. Home on the Range. B. Oliver and Company. C. Atlanta Slap. The Lost Empire. Disney? D. Yeah. Tarzan. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. With All the cows? Yeah. yeah. That is correct. correct a steal. Point steal. Uh, question four. Question four. What Firefly and Serenity star has provided their voice to Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Big Hero uh, 6, yeah. and Zootopia? That's what I was yeah. thinking. I was like, wait, who? King Candy. Yeah, Alan Tudyk. I was going to say That's correct. correct. That is correct. Very needed. Two points there for Team Top Ten. K2SO himself. Question number five. In Disney's Bolt, uh, John Travolta. John Travolta. Yeah. I didn't remember the voice. John Travolta. Correct. Correct. Uh, my final like, question. Montana, in yeah, in, yeah. 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 in the Lion King, what is the name of the place the the that was yeah. forbidden to go to? Damn, what was that called? John Rock is like, I trusted you, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's all you better get this shit right. Oasis. B. Scar's <laughs> Dead. C. The Water Hole. The D. Water, the Watery Hole. hole. What's so great about going to the Water, water Hole? hole. <laughs> Five. Both in Graveyard. Come Four. on. It's obvious. Three. Yeah. It's, that's the way it sounds. D. That is correct. Correct. They yes. pull it, it out. Sounds the most Long ominous. <laughs> What was an 11-point deficit is now just a 3-point deficit. I'm feeling stressed, and it's not just because of my normal depressive oh. life, John. This is, <laughs> this There's is that self-deprecating. There's a dark cloud. Everything we had hoped it would be and more. Both teams completely bring yeah. it, stepping up to the challenges, and we're seeing the scores reflect that. took two of our numbers, so we have to commiserate for a second. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, we need your numbers, gentlemen. Ten. This is not rocket science. Yeah. Uh, is that your answer? Uh, um, Ooh, backwards. 23, 10, and 7 from top 10. We got 6, 3, 8, John from the Schmoes. So uh, top 10, you're going to have to answer first. And you chose number 23, which is biopics. Oh, nice. Two-point question. Roka. <laughs> All right, put that on record. Roka's gonna take it. Uh, two hey, Kenny, points. Hey, Kenny, can we take a little bass out of your voice? Ask the question. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough for the smart alley can comments. You're, you're the grown man in a mask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. Category again is biopics. Two point question. 
who played Jim Morrison. Doc Gilbert. Damn. Why did I say Roman Van Damme? Val, man. Van Damme. Only tripped by one point now. over. All right, you guys still have to go. Because you were trailing by this one point, you picked uh, number 10. Category is a little space opera called Star Wars. <laughs> See how deep this gets. I would like it to be clear right here that Roko is not allowed to even look or breathe during Matt Nost. <laughs> all right, all right. Nost, you're up. It's a three-point question. And the question is, what is the name of Django Fett's ship? Uh, I do not know. That's my answer. I do we, not know. We were looking for <laughs> Slave One. I may not have kissed a woman, but I knew that answer. <laughs> <laughs> There's, do you think those things are correlated? <laughs> All right. You guys can confer now here on a question that you must get right. It comes down to this. If Team Top Ten does not get this question, then at that point, the uh, Schmoes win by TKO, I do wow. believe. Wow, mm -hmm. this is a board runner of a game. Here so we go. Close. Five point question <laughs> in the category of war. War Ooh. is the category. Yeah. Question, Winter gentlemen, Winter. are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What 1968 war film revolves around a mission to kidnap a uh, North bridge on the general? river? I want to see Africa, maybe. Yeah. No, Bridge of the Liverpool Pie is, is uh, right. World War II, I think. Is it? I think so. No. I'm not Five, good at war movies. Four. Three. Okay. Two. I don't know, the Green Berets. That's correct! Oh, they stay alive! Oh, wow. wow. They shoot into the lead and stay alive! Oh, wow. 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 Oh, good pull. Uh, you know what? John would have been alive in the 50s oh and 60s. To get <laughs> they deserve God to give it, it to him. <laughs> oh right. They get three Chicken questions now. Team Best Schmoes, yes. you picked the number six, which gives you the category of coming of age. Oh, gosh. Who will take your two point question? I'll take Christian Harloff will take the two point question. This to bring the match to within two points. Your question. In Dazed and Confused, what do the senior guys do to the incoming paddle? freshman yeah. boys? Yeah, they do. We paddle. Yeah. We'll accept that. Correct right. for two points. Because Adam and Dewey went to like, the restaurant. They had the paddles on the wall. Thanks, point Adam Dewey. Their Dewey. five point question. They will win <laughs> the game. Show me Van Damme movies. <laughs> <laughs> for three points. Even got points. Roka to check on. And for the win, Mark Ellis, this goes to you. Don't worry. What was the category? category is scores and soundtracks. Oh, oh no! Yes! Oh no! I mean, I've seen movies before. <laughs> I see a little Lee. optimism here. How many is David Lee Roth done? Here is your question. <laughs> Chad Kroger of Nickelback recorded the song uh, Spider Man Hero yeah. for what really? Hollywood yes. film? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, look, yeah. nobody worships movie. Nickelback yeah. like I do. <laughs> and I believe that was for. Come on. Five. Christian. Come on. Four. Come on. Three. He's holding it in. Look at him. You got two. it. He's holding it. Spider Man 2. <sighs> Incorrect. We were looking for Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Man. And oh my god. Comes down uh, oh my the gosh. Final so, questions for the Schmoes to set the stage. Yeah, it was a good guess. It was, but it was wrong. Yeah. I wouldn't have gotten it. It's a good category. A title shot at some point in the future. If they miss a team top 10 is the victors. I just remember that song being played on radio like so much when the movie came out. I just remember I Nickelback being played so much during all of my teenage years. <laughs> All right, uh, I believe, John, you're, uh, you're going to ask this one, yeah? All right, here we go. Gentlemen, Come on, guys. five point Can't question miss two in a row. for the win comes in the category of horror thriller. Oh. We got this for Just total five boom. points. Shut down. Name two of the four Rear window and, and vertigo. vertigo. Jimmy Stewart. You can also throw a rope in there. Jesus. And what's Where the fourth one? my favorite movie. Yeah, well, uh, Come on, guys, one? you got it. It's in um, uh, the fourth one. Five, North by Northwest. Oh no, no, that's Rear Cary window Grant. and North by Northwest. Ooh, oh, man. Cary Grant. Nice. Team 
Chop! Wow. Chop! Damn, he knew it, dude. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Yeah, yeah, so take a little bit more time to think that over. We have went down one day <laughs> from the record judges. Oh, Man, we knew too much. Wow. Christian's fun. Oh, oh, well, sweet well, welcome, bro. one of yeah. them. Because that is excellent. That was a hell of a match, though. That was. That was dancing. That was crazy. Punch versus punch. It came down to the very end, John. I Chris. couldn't have asked. For yeah, you had to pick one of the one of the films that he's not in. I thought Team Schmoes had it when Mark said Good guess, but however, y'all did say North by Northwest too, but we said Kramer. Well, that's just because well, it's because I was trying to remember the fourth movie, so I was going through them all in my head. And that's probably his instinct. I don't know what the fourth movie is. Well, North by Northwest is probably one of the most iconic, so it's easy to. So that's probably what they did: is it blipped in their head and. Yeah. What is up, Schmodown fans? I'm Emma Fight here with Matt <laughs> and John Broca, Team Top 10, who were victorious today. That's right. You know what? It's That's really nice. John Roca actually has his own yeah, microphone yeah, yeah. this time, so he doesn't yes. have to steal this one from me. Hold on, and, Emma. No, no, go ahead. And Roca, no, go ahead. I'm going to actually, I'm going to compliment you on that Acura thing right now. <laughs> on the Acura? Uh, Acura. That's the Akira. name of the movie. Yeah, Acura. Oh, is it Acura? Yeah. See? Oh, I was right. Actually how it's Akira. Do you, say, do you say Nicaragua? Is that how you uh, say it? I do not say Nicaragua. No, that's not a <laughs> Japanese word. <laughs> oh, thanks, Emma. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, Hi. well deserved. Thank you. This is a tough match. It's Roca. <laughs> okay. Well, big oh, victory for you guys today. You'll be going. Uh, like sure it looks now. like you've got some title matches coming up for sure in your future. Wolves of Steel are going to be playing ETC. So who do you guys want next? We want the Patriots, but yeah. unfortunately, the Patriots are going to be pansies and duck us and take the winner of whoever whoever wins with uh, Wolves of Steel and ETC. That's yeah. who they're going to pick because they want no part of us. They know they flukely won the last time. It was so a fluke. It was a fluke. Yeah. Team communists do not want a piece of this. <laughs> oh my God. That's what they are. This Team communists. Stalin and Lenin over there <laughs> do not want a piece no, of no, this. Khrushchev. They don't. Bald and short no, I'm just saying. It's it's Khrushchev. Two, two Bolsheviks. Yeah. All that size. <laughs> Besides Lenin. this Patriots. They're spies. It's like the Americans of the Schmodown. That's right. It's brutal. <laughs> you ever seen that show? It's a good show. It is a good show. I heard, I heard it's good, good, good things. <laughs> Listen. Let me tell you something. The Schmoes know gave us everything we could handle. They had a shot to win it at the end. I thought it was such an easy five-point question, and they and they did mess it up. So, but props to them for pushing us to the brink. I really thought we were done, and we came back and we won. We beat them twice now, and I'm getting tired of beating people twice. I beat Riley three times. Now I got to beat him again. Now oh, here we go. Who are the new people coming? You beat. There's no rank ahead of us. It's just madness. Now can we be ranked ahead of them now? We went ahead of him now. You beat Schmoes twice, but this time it was this one was a good match. It wasn't it was quite match. history repeating itself no, as no, no. Uh, Matt Nost is trying to re uh, well, remind history, us of. The history right did here. repeat itself because we won. That's the truth. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Patriots. That's true. Schneider. <laughs> JTE. Baby doll, what did I say from the beginning? All the belts, all the records. I won't be stopped. I've spoken it into the universe. I tell people all God, the time. God, gets scary <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I feel like he wants to kill him. <laughs> He's got the look in his eyes. <laughs> well, look, you're looking at my eye. Ah, look at those eyebrows shifting. And you definitely got a shot at getting all of the belts, as you claim time and time again, John Roca. <laughs> Listen, if, if Patriots want a piece of us, I'll go ahead and give you guys like a, a three-point lead oh, if, if JT can pronounce my name correctly. I'll just give you three Kanos. points out the gate if you can just do that. Kanos? We'll toss another three up. That's right. Full name, though. Full name. Full name. Konst? That's, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Well, I don't want any more Team Communists. They can go away. And you know what? I have to say, uh, Hashtag for team all communists. the crap that I give you, Roga, yeah. I would like to see you guys beat the Patriots. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, though I'm disappointed the Schmoes did not win today, I am still rooting for you in your inevitable matchup against the Patriots. Congratulations again, John yeah, Roca, Matt Nose, Team Top 10. They're going to get tired of beating them twice. Right yep. back yep. with Team Schmoes. All nation, four horsemen, son. All right, we are back with the narrowly defeated <laughs> Team oh. Schmoes. Mark Ellis, Christian Harloff. <laughs> like it, was a, it was a match well fought, I have to say. I really thought you guys had it there for a while. Yeah, well, we didn't get knocked out, Emma, and that was awesome. It feels good to go to the third round with those idiots. And look, they played a great game, deserved the W. We had a couple right there at the end that we just couldn't quite capitalize on. Bottom line is, I'm happy to not win a match because I don't know who Nickelback is. Yeah, right. I did the mistake of I, I, I 
did what I always tell competitors not to do, and that is celebrate before it is it is time to do so. I I actually and when he answered the Spider Man one, I thought it was Spider Man two. Also, I was like, yes, it's over. And then I was like, damn it, they're right. Uh, there was a lot. Look, See, one just, thing. Like, it makes more sense. Like if you're gonna make a Spider Man movie, you want to get Spider Man out before you throw Chad Kroger right. in there. Right? <laughs> like, <there's laughs> yeah, because wasn't, wasn't Spider Man two some forty one? Listen, the one thing I have yeah. to say though, yeah. as much as this little feud has been fun with top ten. Those guys are the real deal. They had like, I mean, the guy really from are. Slayer they, they, come out. They, 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 they <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching them make that video. <laughs> yeah, and like they had Tobey Maguire in the actual yeah, video. No yeah, there's no denying. Like, no, not, not not like scenes from the movie, but like he was like talented like, competitors. They're just spending this way too much talking about Spider-Man. So are you guys going to sit back for a while then? Just get back at the table, get back to the commentating, calling the matches? Well, Emma, there's no stepping back when you're the guys that created the league. We're going to keep watering all these little plants that grow up, and sometimes they become cacti. Sometimes they become beautiful flowers, and we're going to continue to nurture this baby step by step. Thank you, Mark, as far as us competing, I don't. What do you feel like? I'm saying, as, as far as teams go, we've talked about this before, and we kind of had a strategy going into this, and we said if we we're going to lose, we'd probably probably a little bit before you see us compete again as a team. Um, I know that he has. I'll let him speak on this, but I know he's got reservations about competing in singles. I've got one name in uh, in my sights right now, and that's Andy Signore. I am yeah. getting ready for Signore on, uh, on April 4th. He's going for your dad. Signore, <laughs> very serious. You'll leave sure him alone. He's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any reservations about playing. It's, I'm not ducking anybody. I just, right. I want to let other people get a shot at, at glory. With all the glory that Baby Carrots has, other people should get to enjoy that, Emma. So I might pop in here or there occasionally down the road. Kind of like Eddie Murphy when he shows up at a comedy club. He's usually not there to do stand-up, but it's still cool to see a legend. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so what is what are Roca and Nostan? Are they cacti or beautiful flowers? They're prickly, prickly cacti. Yeah. They just want water so bad. They just they just want to be in a lush environment and just nobody will take them in. If you know anybody out there that you needs to, to adopt say a couple something. forty year olds and just house them and let them sleep on your couch, please do it for you, do it for us, get them off our hands. All three of those teams. <laughs> Patriots. Wolves of Steel, we'll take them. top ten, right. any one of them could come out. And ETC also, man. Elliot's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, no we, just, we just want to see good matchups here with the team championship. Elliot you know, is pretty good. Whoever has the belt going forward, I just want to see it go all three rounds or all five rounds yeah. in the championship case. Those make the best matches. And if Team Top Ten gets another knockout against somebody, their heads are going to get so big, they're just going to float away like the elevator at the end of Willy Wonka. No, but look, I mean, I'm going to take off the competitors half a second and talk to the commissioner side here. And... You've got to be happy to have a team like top 10 in the league. I mean, mm -hmm. you really do. The guys are competitive. They oh, yeah. you know, fight to the last. I thought that we were going to TKO them at one point. Talkers. And, and they just keep coming. And they're the guys. They've been former. They're, they were champions. They'll probably hold the championship again at one, one stake or another. And then you got Roca, who is the current champion. So I am, as, a, as commissioners of this league, uh, I, I'm very grateful that top ten is in this league. It's definitely anybody's game in the team championships, but unfortunately, not yours. Oh, I'm a <laughs> Take not that. right Get now. Rid of that shirt for saying something like that. I was supporting you. I thought you had it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Now back to you, Ken and Campia. All right, well, not surprisingly, Top 10 already screaming their guts up for that rematch, rematch against rematch. the Patriots. As far as the Schmoes, where do they go from here? They have to be looking deep inside themselves right now to see what they're really made of and where they want to go from now. I mean, they, they fought well. That was a great match, but, you know, it comes at a key and crucial time in their careers as, as teammates here. You know, losing yeah. a match a big loss for them. Yeah. who had just recently been the champions, having come down 26 to 24, back and forth, lead changes all throughout. This they have nothing to hang their heads about. 24 points they scored were within a hair of victory twice. I mean, again, no shame in this loss whatsoever. Absolutely. Hey, guys, make sure you go to the movie Schmodown Trivia Facebook page. You can interact with Schmodown competitors. Make sure you watch Josh McCuga's fantasy updates to get all the big fantasy information. You can interact with the Schmodown fanatics when you play that fantasy game soon, John. So thanks again for joining us on the Collider Movie Trivia Schmodown. This has just been, I am so <laughs> up. This has been one of the most exciting <laughs> matches I've ever had to call. So, thanks for joining us. I'm John Cambia for Ken Knopsock. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hi. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> update post yeah. top 10. First Schmoes, a lot of points scored. If you have either team, hang on to them. Uh, Schmoes may not compete again right away. They're busy hosting it, and they're busy 
losing, uh, apparently, <laughs> in top ten. Top ten, hold on to it. John Roca, he, you know, he yells at people until he gets matches. He's also a champion. <laughs> that knows may or may not know anything about trivia, but it seems like they are competing well. That knows Score me quite a bit, though. He kind no, of he did, he did it when Roca yeah. did it. He did a good job. Green Berets, like though, that was huge. Yeah. Who knows where top 10 will go from here? Top 10 could it's take so on close. the next yeah. champion. They could take down the belt. They've been belt holders before. Roka always says it. He wants all the belts, mostly because all of his pants, they don't fit. <laughs> Josh McCoogie here with the Schmodown update after <laughs> every single match. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't. You guys are all really good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Thanks. you, Josh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to just keep going with it. I know. It. You should have just put that in a loop. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, obviously, that pull from Roka, Green Beret, I mean, that oh was a huge Oh, my God. That was one. crazy. And then to kind of throw and it on the, misses, the other end. Yep. The misses by the shows. That yep. was huge, too. Well, uh, understandably, the but... Ones. Yeah. Yeah, because all they needed was one. And yeah. Unfortunately, the last, the last question was really easy if you just took a second to think about it but like christian said i think like it just was celebrating too early yeah. so it was instinctual for them to yep. say what they did and that's the thing is we talk about it so much oh we shouldn't have second guessed ourselves and that's a situation where it pops in your mind and then you start second guessing it because it could be wrong and would you have second guessed it you know if you're up there and the lights in front of you and the camera's rolling are you gonna say north by northwest because it was your first instinct, or are you going to dismiss it and go for something else? Because I went Rear Window first, because that's one of my favorite films of all time, and then Vertigo, um, and then I just, for some reason, just because North by Northwest is so iconic to, right. to Hitchcock, I was just like thinking of Hitchcock films, and so I just went straight North by Northwest, but... And that's the thing, is I feel yeah. like they went that same way, too. Yeah. Spider-Man, though. Spider-Man, too. Like, no way. Like, the only hero score thing I could think of is the, uh, from Godzilla, the, we can yeah. be heroes, <laughs> the just flowers. one. No, I know that song. I remember the, I remember the song from here. From Nickelback. Yeah. From but Spider-Man. Yeah. But I, I couldn't place it. As the, I knew it wasn't the third one. I just couldn't place it. Which one? Yeah. Oh, Nickelback's yeah. That song. Yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> Don't even Wait. worry about listening to it. If you missed that, that question, it's okay. But I was real happy for Nose, too, because Nose did know quite a bit in that first round. Unfortunately, he missed Slave 1. He did miss is, Slave I mean, 1. That's very iconic. But, it's, I mean, he kind of, when they got that category, you could tell he was like, well, you know, and that's, I'm not the best at this. And that's the thing. When you're partnered with Roka, who is Mr. Oh, far, man, far away, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. you kind of are hoping that that other person will pick it up. But in that final round, when it lands you on know. you, there's nothing you can do. Nope. So, I mean, it... it it happened. And it, Had, it would have kind of been like a, like a, like a, I don't know if he would have been able to get that biopic. No, Green Beret. One either. Not at all. I wouldn't have. No, no the bio, way. The that biopic. was the war film. The biopic was oh, who Kilmer. played, yeah. yeah, who played Vin. Oh, yeah. Which is an easier, that's an easier. Yeah, that's definitely. A, I think, I think those could have got that. Yeah. Cause if they had flipped the situation. He was such a good John, Mo John Morrison. Yeah. John <laughs> and, Morrison. Did you always say John Morrison? John Morrison. Yeah, John Morrison. <laughs> this is the Smith. Yeah. James Morrison. <laughs> Wait, Jim, Wait. Jim Morrison. But Jane yeah, Morrison Jim, too. Jim. Jim, Jim Morrison. Bain. Yeah. Oh, he I wish. Jim. Hanging out with that naked Indian John. in the desert. You know. That's, I know. That's a, that's a, that's Val Kilmer's my second Jim Morrison. <laughs> And then, of course, first one is that guy. first one is Wayne's World, too. Yeah. I mean, it's terrible, but that's my go-to. If you book first. them, they will come. Just so two. Horrible. Check two. <laughs> Just two. Anyways, we thank you guys for watching our reaction to the Schmoes versus Top Ten. Um, I mean, obviously, we were all going for the Schmoes. Sad to see that they lost, but it was a good game. I hope yeah, they do compete again. That's all I can ask again. for. Yeah. yeah, I wanted them to go up against uh, the champs. I mean, oh, we yeah. already, I mean, we Did had already see? seen you know the top ten go up against and lose their belts too. But it's it, now it's a revenge you know path. I I'm, I do kind of want to see them go after Snyder and JTE and get those belts back. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it is a battle for the top. You always had uh, the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, and the Dudley Boys fighting it out for the title. So why can't it be the right. same ones over and over here? Because they're the best. Exactly essentially so until next time you can like and subscribe do the thing on our facebook twitter tumblr or instagram and as always now, now it's time, time to, to say, say goodbye, goodbye. bye, bye. bye.